Well, we all know how important in the modern day game batting and bowling is. That brilliant century, great delivery, can all win games. But there's one key factor that's often overlooked, and that's fielding. What a piece of fielding. What a wonderful piece of athleticism. Gone. Mark Moore taking a very good catch at first slip. Stuart McGill's got his man. Mark Moore again has taken an excellent catch at first slip. Today we look at the art of slips catching. The key to good slips catching is the setup. For me, I like to have my feet at shoulders width apart, knees bent, hands in position pointing to the ground, and eyes straight ahead. It's crucial to concentrate on every ball. The next one could be the one that comes your way. Soft hands are also vital, and give with the ball as you catch it. Catching the ball with two hands wherever possible is also crucial. And remember, when the ball comes above your chest, have your hands pointing upwards. Gone, straight down the stage with first slip. Oh, great catch! Superb catch, Matthew Hayden at third slip. Darren Gang was trying to work the ball on the leg side, got a leading edge. And Matthew Hayden's taken a beauty. Yeah, there, that's out. Very well caught, Mark Moore. That second slip. That was an excellent catch. Now remember a good tip. Always keep your eye on the ball. And maybe one day you can turn a game with a great catch. Like most cricketers, I enjoy batting and bowling, but I also enjoy fielding. With lots of hard work, practice and dedication, you too will have a lot of fun fielding. In today's tips in fielding, we'll concentrate on outfield catching. He's decided to sweep him, this is over. Is it going to be caught? Oh yes, well taken. Beautifully taken. Lovely timing down there. Damien Martin went back a few metres and uh, oh, sensational catch. Shot, man in the air, Primming's done, but he'll catch this. Yes, he does, that's good cricket. The perfect bounce, Woski going for it, straight down the boat of Fleming, who's a good outfielder. There's two ways to take a catch in the outfield. Either with your fingers pointing up, or my preferred option, with the fingers pointing down and letting the ball come to you. Again, it's vital to watch the ball all the way into the hands. When the ball is hit over your head, turn and chase. That's it, it's all, it's high, it's miles in the air. Hughes is coming around, and so it's all, it's a wonderful catch! That's a great, the greatest catch. Oh, unbelievable, Stephen Wall. Never get into the situation where you're running backwards. Backwards! Put down. Mine! Always remember to call loud and clear, because this might happen. Well, that's gone in the air. This is going to be safe, is it? No, this might be out. Oh, there's a collision. Oh, a dreadful collision down there. Dreadful collision. At our practice, we spend a heap of time on outfield catches. So get a mate, hit some high balls, and remember, practice makes perfect. If you look at the best cricketers in the world today, you'll find that most are exceptional fielders. To become a good all-round cricketer, it's important that you work on your fielding as well. Today we'll look at runouts. Oh, that's wonderful work. That is a direct hit, and it looked to me as though Ponting might have claimed a victim. Chance here, and he's out. He'll be out. Yes, umpire Simon Taufel does not even call the third umpire. There are two obvious ways to affect a run out, overarm and underarm. When you're close to the wicket, underarm is best. It takes less time and it's easier to be accurate. Ah! That's what Villeneuve needs to do. Get singles, but uh, Ricky Ponning has produced a direct hit. But when you're further out, you'll need to throw the ball over arm. Your target, wherever possible, should be the base of the middle stump. Teamwork is vital in runouts. 
When you've got time, it's always better to throw it to the man over the stumps. It'll be gone, sure, he's out. And of course, the better the run out or the catch, the bigger the celebration. As a cricketer, you spend a lot of time in the field. Now you can help your team out and your bowlers out by saving as many runs as possible. Today we're going to concentrate on ground fielding. If at all possible, try not to be too fancy. The key is to get behind the ball, either by getting side on, knee down, leaving no space for the ball to go through. Or if you're in a more attacking position, get your foot behind the ball, get as low as possible, throwing either underarm or overarm. After you've got the ball, your throw is vital to saving runs. The correct way to throw the ball is a step towards your target, fingers across the seam, non-throwing arm also pointing towards the target. Bringing your arm over as straight as possible and remember to follow through. Try to avoid throwing round arm. It's not accurate and you could cause an injury. Another good tip when you're feeling, because you're out in the sunshine all day, cap, sunglasses and sunscreen. In this series, we've looked at the basics of fielding. But sometimes out in the middle, you need to improvise, whether it's a great catch, a diving stop, or a run out. But if you happen to pull it off, there's no better feeling. In the air. Oh, what a catch, what a catch. That is unbelievable. Damien Martin, full length to his right. Boy, he has taken an absolute chaffer. Well, that's in the air, and it's staying up there. This could be caught. It'll be a good catch, mind you. No. He's picked it up on the bounce. That's very good fielding. Very, well, very good fielding. And this may well be out. What an incredible bit of fielding. Oh, that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Mark Ward is brilliant. That is terrific stuff. As the Zimbabweans found out, the backhand flick has always been a favourite of mine. Or the little throw on the run. On his end. Well, I reckon he's just about done him. Ryan Lara came in, and I reckon uh, he's taken the next wicket. If at all possible, always try to use the conventional method. Only improvise if you need to. What a piece of fielding. What a wonderful piece of uh, athleticism. Oh, great catch, Mark Moore again. Outstanding catch in the left hand. Mark Moore has taken an absolute scream. There's no better feeling than taking a great catch or running someone out. So get out there and have lots of fun and enjoy yourself. With the summer of tennis right around the corner, Wide World of Sports has every angle covered. From match highlights, press conferences and every breaking news story, Wide World of Sports is your home of tennis. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this summer.